hi guys and welcome to my channel now if is this your, if this is your first time here welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any video from me now this um video was requested was highly requested by one of my subscribers who um asked me to show how to use a curve rule now there's many methods in using curve rule i'm going to share with you my methods that work best for me and if you guys like my method you can follow along now i have um a whiteboard here which i'm going to demonstrate to you now my whiteboard is not set up on the wall as yet but i'm planning to do that soon because i just get this whiteboard and i'm going to demonstrate to you on the whiteboard how to do certain things now as i said if it's your first time stopping by please subscribe share my channel so others can learn from it so we're gonna start how to do the core rule onto this um whiteboard how to use it now i'm going to demonstrate to you in the method of drafting a top how to use your core rule many people got many ways in using core rule so this is my method in using the core rule and if you want to see how to use your core rule Keep watching and let's get started so this is my whiteboard here this is 40 by third no this is 36 by 48 whiteboard that I have here and um, I am set this up on the wall as yet so I'm going to demonstrate to you on the whiteboard how to use this so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna get our straight rule so that we can start drafting the top so let me grab my tools let's start drafting this top so I have this um, ruler here. This is one of, this is a cutting rule. And this is a six inches by 24 inches ruler that I have here. So I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my straight rule and I'm going to draw a line down the middle of this um, whiteboard. So I'm going to get my marker. You will need a marker for this. You will need your ruler. You would need your curve rule this is the armhole curve and you would also need your hip curve ruler so i have all my tools here and since i have all my tools let's get started in how to do this stuff so the first thing we're going to do we're going to take our ruler and we're going to draw down a line down the center of this arm this boy white bull so i'm going to take my arm ruler out and i'm going to draw a line the length of the top that I need. So the length of the top that I am doing, it would be like 16 inches. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw down a line the length of the ruler. So on this line, I'm going to draw down the line, the length of this ruler. So you see I have a line right here, which is the line that we'll be using for the um for drafting this top. So this line from the top of the arm, um, the, 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 the white board, the line is 24 inches long, right? Now from the top of the arm, um, the line, what we're going to do, I'm going to draw in a line on the top of the paper. So let me just remove this. This is a white whiteboard, so it's, you get the magnet and it's thick on through. Now on this straight line that we draw here, we're gonna draw a line at the top of the um, paper. So we're gonna get our um, straight rule and we're gonna put a line at the top of that line. So we're gonna match this line back and we're gonna draw in a line like eight inches. So we're gonna draw this line. So we end up getting Let's straight this line so it can be straight. So we end up getting something like a rectangle, right? So this is the line. This line here gonna become the shoulder line. So the next line we're going to do, we're gonna measure down the length of our bus. So we are working with a 10 inches bus, so we're gonna measure down the 10 inches for the arm for the bus. So we're gonna measure down the 10 inches for the bus. So we're working with a 10 inches boss, so we're going to measure that down right here and we're going to draw a line. We're going to smooth a line out. 
So we're gonna smooth the line. Next, when we have these, um, we have these two lines, the next time we're gonna do, we're gonna measure the waist for the top. So from the top of the paper, we're gonna measure down and we're gonna measure the waist of the top is 16 inches. So we're gonna measure down that and we're gonna draw a line. We're gonna draw a line. We're gonna draw the line. So now this become the shoulder. So we're gonna name this S H O U L D E R shoulder. This is the boss. This is the waist. And then we gotta get the measurement between here and here, which is gonna be half of 10, which is five inches. So we're gonna put a mark there and we're gonna draw in this line here. So we're gonna draw in this line. So now we have, this is the front. You could name it a cross front, but this is the front. So now on this line that we have here, we have to get a measurement. So let's say we're working with a, um, our width from here to here is seven and a half inches. This is for the shoulder line. So we're gonna measure seven and a half inches right here. So we're gonna put a mark right here. Then we're gonna measure the across front, which is seven inches. So we're gonna put the across front here. Seven inches. Then we're gonna put the bus, which the bus is nine and a quarter inches. So we're gonna put that here. Then we are working with the waist measurement. We have to get a waist measurement, which is nine inches. So we will put that here. So with all these marking that we have here on this wire, we have all these marking, the measurement done marking. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna connect these lines. So we have to connect all these lines, but the first thing before we connect these lines, we have to measure down an inch from this uh, marking here from the shoulder line, which we're gonna measure down one inch, and we're gonna put a mark here. So this marking right here, that we have here, we're gonna connect it from here to here because we have to get a shoulder slope so that we can make the shoulder. So I'm working with a four and a half inch so shoulder slope. So I'm going to measure in four and a half inches from this mark in here. I'm going to measure four and a half inches in. And I'm going to put a mark right here. So from that line now, I'm going to connect this line to make the shoulder slope. We're going to connect that line from here to the one inches. So that becomes the shoulder slope we have here. All right, this becomes the shoulder slope. Now what we're going to do, we're going to get our armhole curve, which is this ruler here. We're going to get this armhole curve ruler. And what we're going to do, we're going to mark it in with this armhole. Now, this armhole curve have a special way in marking in the curve of the arm. So I'm going to show you how to use this. So I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to place my ruler like this. So we use in the ruler this section so as this is the armhole so that we can get the curve. So I'm going to place this here by this line here and I'm going to match all these marking here. So take your armhole curve which is this ruler and you place it like which is this ruler here and we're going to match up all these lines. This line this line and this line that is to form the armhole so we're going to use this ruler this way we're going to use this ruler so that's what we're going to do so grab your armhole curve ruler and let's mark in these lines so get your ruler place it like this like this way hold it this way so the curve of the armhole would be to the marking of the line some people use it this way some people use it like this some people use it this way and they marking all the lines but i i can show you my method which i like to use it this way so i'm going to hold my arm um, whole curve and i'm going to put it this way and i'm going to match up all my lines until i get my lines match up my marking and i'm going to mark in my arm hole
So here is my marking that I mark in my armhole right here with my curve rule. So this is my armhole. So this is how you use the armhole curve. You place it like this to the marking and you mark up, you add in all your marking that you have. So you place your armhole curve like this. This is how you're placing this. Now you come down to this line here, the one inch, you place it like this, and now you come and you draw in all your marking, match up all your line, and you come and you draw in your armhole. So that's how you use our armhole curve, right? Come and you match up. Now my arm board is a magnetic board, so the marker tends to rub off very easy. So now, to connect this line to this mark, remember some people square, some people have shape. But even though you don't have shape, they can, your seamstress can still shape you. So I'm going to show you how to use the hip curve now. Or if you don't have a hip curve, you can use a straight rule to shape yourself, right? So since I have a hip curve, I'm going to take this, is what you call the hip curve ruler, which I use to do my hip, my waist. So I'm going to shape myself with this hip curve ruler. So in the way I'm going to use this hip curve ruler, I'm going to get this hip curve and I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to put this, swing it the same way as the armhole, how the armhole ruler is. I'm going to swing it like this and I'm going to shape my seam. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to shape myself like this. So now this would become my waist. Now this is my top that I finished you. Now this how you use an armhole curve ruler and the hip curve ruler to shape yourself. Right? Now we gotta add some seam allowance to this top. Now this top needs seam allowance to the shoulder and right away around the armhole so i'm going to get my ruler i have five eight i always work with a five eight um inch um top um measurement and i'm gonna draw in my five eight with my ruler always work with that and i'm gonna draw in my five eight and i'm going to well, since my board is a shiny magnetic board, I can just hand draw this. You guys are going to do it neater than me. And I'm going to come down with my 5 8. And I'm going to put the same thing here just in case I want to attach this top to a skirt. I'm going to put some dash line. And I'm going to take my ruler. And I'm going to draw in this line. I'm going to take my rule and I'm going to draw in that. Now we have to do the neckline. So it depends on what neckline you want to do. Now we have to, um, for me, I'm just going with a regular um, round neckline. So I'm going to measure down one inch and then draw in three inch and a half sorry that's the standard three inch and a half some people go six if i'm doing a low neckline like the top that i have on i would do like a six inches but for this demonstration i'm just doing three and a half so i have my ruler that have measurements here so i'm going to do the three and a half inches down the neckline and i'm going to draw that in so i'm going to get my armhole curve ruler and i'm going to use it this way to draw in the curve of the arm the neck i'm going to place it to the shoulder line and the five eight line and i'm going to just draw this in like that so that now become my top so now we're going to clean up all these so you guys can see what the top look like i'm going to clean up all these so now i have my chalk remover here and i'm going to clean up all these in so you guys can see what this stuff look like so 
all these here. So you're gonna clean up here. So this would no longer be needed. here so you guys can see what this top look like so here we have the top so you see when we finish clean up all those arm line we have the top right here now when I put my board on the wall I would be able to manage it properly but since my board is not on the wall yet I would get a little struggle to manage this board a little so when you clean up the top make sure you clean it up properly don't take off the shoulder line like me and now I'm going to redraw this the shoulder line so it would look neat right now the armhole, I'm going to redraw it so it can look neat. So I'm going to rub this out. And I'm going to redraw the 5 8 seam allowance so that it can look neat. So I'm going to redraw this, just get my hand. Or you can get um, your core rule, but I can just draw this in. And when I don't I come and I draw that in. So that would be my 5-8 seam allowance. Come out too much. That would be my 5-8 seam allowance. I'm going to redraw this one as well. I'm going to redraw this. Just put some dash line. Let me just loosen up this one. Get the angle torque if you wish. And you will dry it very neat. So this is what your top will look like. Right, so this is a tutorial on how to draw use your arm whole curve so you can draw your neck draw your neckline your arm whole curve line and we use the hip cord for do that right let's say you want to extend this top to a dress simple you can do get the length of the dress that you want well from my, from the waist here we're gonna draw in how wide how long you want the dress so from the waist here you're gonna draw in how long so from the waistline not the arm not this line, this is the seam allowance from this line. You're gonna just draw down a line how long you want your dress to be. Like that. I know you gotta gotta measure out your hip measurement. So I'm gonna measure down eight inches for my hip measurement. I'm gonna get my ruler and get eight inches from the waistline. eight inches nine inches sorry for the hip measurement nine inches and now i'm going to work with a 46 hip measurement so i'm going to measure out 11 and a half and the half so 11 and a half i'm going to measure out 11 and a half wait on that line and i'm going to measure out the hip measurement so you must add your hip measurement to this so that so you must add the hip measurement so that the dress can fit you now the length of the dress we're gonna join this line here and the same 11 and a half you get the 11 and a half point on the bottom of the line too as well so we're gonna connect this line here 
So all these marking there, make sure this is 11 and a half and you connect. Now, this is where this ruler here comes in. So this is the hip curve that we use to curve in the shape of the top. Now we have to you get this hip curve so that we can use it to curve the hip line. Right, you can do it with a straight rule, you can do it with a hip curve. Since I have a hip curve, I'm going to use the hip curve ruler. So you get your hip curve ruler and I, since I, am have, I have a large hip, I always use the tip of my hip curve and then it drops me to the measurement that it would match up. So I'm going to get my hip curve ruler and I'm going to put the tip of the hip curve ruler right here at this end here right here not at the um the half inch and i'm going to put in my um hip measurement i'm going to put in my hip measurement right here right guessing this is my hip measurement i'm going to put it in 11 and a half is my hip measurement so i'm going to put that in right here so i'm going to put in that 11 and a half because you must get the hip measurement and then i'm going to get the long rule and i'm going to connect this line to this line so let's make sure this line is 11 and a half here let's make sure this is 11 and a half so i'm going to get this rule so 11 and a half drop here so we're going to take this line out. So get your ruler and you're measuring from this line here, 11 and a half. From the tip. You measure down that. So you see, I use it to curve my hip. Some people use it all whole. And then I'm going to get my straight rule. And I'm going to connect this line right here. This line to this line. So that's how you extend from the top to this line. So this is the waist here. So we extend that. Now I'm going to draw in my 5-8. Come back from this line here. Draw in my 5-8. I'm going to put that here my low ones of one inch. When my um board is on the wall, I would be able to do this properly. I know you extend your top to a dress. So we're going to clean this up. Clean up the top. So let's clean it up so we can, our dress could look neat and nice. So now we have our top if you want you can stop here and we have our skirt right so this is how you draw draft a dress a top and then you extend it into a skirt right you extend it into a whole dress so if you want you can cut it or you can sew it up just like that so you can extend this to whatever you want whatever length you want but always remember take the, the, the length of the skirt from the waist when you're extending not from the 5 8 seam allowance so this how you use your curve rule to add the hip the arm your armhole curve to add the add the armhole and to add the neck um so come friends you use your curve rule for the neck 
curve rule for the armhole. The curve ruler for the top to, to the armhole to the waist and then the hip curve ruler from the waist to the hip and the straight ruler down. So hope you guys, so this is how you use your tools. So the tools that we use, we use three ruler. The main focus was how to use a, um, the curve ruler. So I use this for the arm. This is for the arm here to draw in the arm. I also use it for get the neck circumference which we use for here. That's for use for that. Now for this curve rule ruler, I use this for joining in the arm to the waist to the waist and then I use it to join the hip, the waist to the hip measurement. So that's my method of using my rule, my core rules them. If you guys like my method, please leave me a comment and whatever classes you would like to see me do please let me know so i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial this tutorial and i'll see you in my next tutorial so bye and don't forget to subscribe and you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in my next tutorial bye